Guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. On today's show, we're gonna slice up some potatoes, mix them with a little garlic and onion, drop down a couple eggs, and chase it all with a T-bone steak. It's steak and eggs, and it's coming right up. Alright everybody, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backer at Barbecue and we got a, a good one today. But look, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, you see it there. That way you get notified on all my uh, future uploads. And look, leave me a comment down below. It's very important to the show. Look, basically what we got going on here is steak and eggs on the Blackstone and we're gonna do up some home fries. There's two uh, trains of thought on the home fries. There's a uh, cubed up or diced up. I definitely like sliced up. And as you can see, I'm going with what they call like a, a new a red potato. And I'm going with the eighth to quarter inch slices, whatever, no big deal. And I'm gonna dice up a half an onion. Look, I got my Blackstone rocking along on medium and medium, a two left burners. And I'll get my uh, potatoes down. And now I'll get my uh, onions down. Look, anytime you're cooking something like this, you wanna gauge what's the uh, quickest to cook, what's the uh, longest to cook, right? So we know the uh, Potatoes are going to be the longest, so we'll get those on there first. We'll get some butter on them, a little oil, and of course, some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Now look, I'm looking at maybe a, what, about a 15 minute cook on these potatoes. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is get my uh, T-bone steak ready, eggs on the side, and get my garlic ready to put in those potatoes. Now look, when you're doing a steak and eggs like this for, uh, uh, mainly for breakfast, my, you might have it for uh, lunch or dinner. You don't want a big old ribeye, a good piece of meat. You want that uh, grizzly old, uh, cheaper type cut of meat doesn't have to be top of the line prime just a nice select or choice will do I think it just goes uh, you know it just brings me back to the diner days when I used to order this uh, like I said in the morning or uh, at night after a, a long night of uh, hanging out right you get that old steak and eggs and it's a, a good old greasy piece of meat that's what we're going for here Just working those potatoes, working those potatoes, and uh, working those potatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And of course, I like to have this uh, handy uh, infrared uh, light there. I got a link down below in the description if you want to pick one of these up. As uh, this uh, Blackstone is new to me, so I'm still uh, kind of gauging out the hot spots, which is about right there. So we'll get our potatoes moved over to the side, get some oil down. We've moved the pit or the grill, the flat top up to high, high for medium, medium, and we'll get our steak down. Now I'm thinking about three, four minutes a side should put me at that medium or rare or range. And I like to put a weight on it that way the uh, well, the meat doesn't curl up right on the ends. I want good contact with that uh, steel. Alrighty, look, that's about three minutes. We're moving along pretty good, and you can see we got a uh, we got a pretty a nice sear. The uh, griddle is up to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's about a good three minutes per side. This cook has been on the books now probably for a year or so and I'm finally getting around to it. We'll move our potatoes into more of the high spot, the hot spot. 
is I definitely like my potatoes a nicely a done and even a little burnt. And you can see that steak is reading about that 1-7 uh, range. So you know we're pretty much done there. I'll get that moved over a little bit to the side. get a little butter down oh, man. Oh. A little butter on the steak why not Again, we're a diner cooking, we're a greasy cooking, and that's the name of the game here. And now what we wanna do is get everything kinda of pushed to the side, cause we're gonna make room for our eggs. We know that steak's just about done and those potatoes are crisping up nice. Alrighty, look, we'll get those eggs moving along and we'll get that uh, steak off. Or like we like to say, we'll get that steak on the board. Oh yeah. You see, we got a pretty uh, decent color on that steak, right? butter on the steak, why not? Time to uh, move those uh, home fries off and get those on the board. And there's that little bit of a, uh, a little bit of burning on those potatoes. That's what I like. From there, what we want to do is we want to get those eggs off. Actually, here what I'm going to do is get a little, uh, little salt and pepper down. And also, I forgot to put the grated cheese on the potatoes. And I'm definitely a big fan of that. So let's, uh, let's get some grated cheese down. What do you think? Is this a meal or what? I mean, that's a steak and eggs right there. That is a greasy, greasy breakfast, greasy, greasy lunch, or greasy, greasy dinner, and look well worth it. I want to thank you for checking out this cook. Leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. You know the drill. I'm going to stick a couple more black stone cooks here and here. You check those out 
and I'll see you there.